send it, dude. <laughs> Jeff, send her out there, dude. Send it out there. They're getting one dead pheasant. You got these things out of here? Two dead pheasants? Yeah. Peyton's first time shooting a 12 gauge. Remember to hold it tight, all right? Don't be scared. Just hold it tight. <laughs> Pet him. Pet his ass. He's don't looking at you, that. dude. Uh oh. <laughs> He's running. See if you can pet him. Well, shit. Is he... Pet him. Really? Oh, there he goes. Did you say one of his eyes is gone? One of his eyes are blind. All right, Pailet, don't go up by that fence. Not bad, huh, bud? Uh, hey, little mix bag. Literally. Show us what we got. What we got? We got three squirrels and we got two ducks. Peyton's first time duck hunting turned into a little squirrel hunt, too. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta little, take what you can get. Little mix bag. Pretty fun, huh? You got to shoot your first time? Or yeah. first 12 gauge? Look how pretty these squirrels are, though. It's crazy how freaking orange they are. <laughs> I'm like, I like how I'm like. Is the beat on him? No. Now it is? Okay. I got your back, buddy. All right, I'm gonna hold the front, okay? You got him! You, got you him. nailed him! <laughs> Dude, high five! Let's go! Good job, buddy. You gotta go get him. Hey, I don't know how steady that was. Oh, that's <laughs> all right. Hey, Peyton, let's see him. Hold him up. Oh, yeah! <laughs> well, What's this? his bee hole. <laughs> oh. Well, we didn't get anything on video, but uh, we got we did get Peyton shot on video. Yeah, oh, Jeff shot a duck and a squirrel. Oh, that's Me and Peyton that shot out. a couple squirrels and another duck. He pooped. Uh oh. Oh. That's what it oh, was. Oh, you looks like scared the poop, poop out, out of him, dude. That one too. <laughs> you shot the poop out of him. I got the poo on me. It'll pay. I never knew that their poop looked like that, to be honest. Little freaking, look like little freaking little, little raisins. Rabbit turds. Those holes are now their buttholes, buddy. I know. Which, which squirrel's yours, Pay? That one, right? Yeah. Just What do you want to eat? You want to eat squirrel or duck? Both. Both? <laughs> Get it, we're gonna eat, We're going to eat some squirrel, dude. How about that? Okay. All right, you're grabbing decoys, buddy. Okay. Don't worry about the mojo. We'll get that last. Daddy, what? I feel like you're starting even higher. Think so? So look, you pick up the decoy, and I'll show you. Lift it up. See that loop? See the loop on the black thing? Yeah. Grab it by that. Grab that loop. No, grab the loop. The loop. You're looking right at it, next to your hand. See the loop? Pull that. Drop the decoy. Then you just take this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You clip this on the loop. And you clip them all together. So look, now you walk around like this. With that. Then you clip that to the next loop. On the next step, okay? And then they all get stuck together and I'll get the mojo. So you see the loop? There you go. And then you just clip that on the clip. There you go. And just drag them around to the next one. See, Jeff's got two ready for you. Hook me. Hook those on. There you go. Now you got two more. I'm gonna go get the mojo. All right, now lift them up, put them all in there. Got him? There you go. Get that other one in there. How does the paint not wash off? 
does. It's probably it's waterproof. Bay. <laughs> oh, there's a weight. <laughs> Got it, Pay? Went down. Oh God! <laughs> What'd you step in the mud? The mud got me. <laughs> we shot some squirrels a couple days ago, and we also were trying to duck hunt, but then we got a couple squirrels and some ducks. But now we're gonna make squirrel Popeye. <laughs> you want to show us? And these are the squirrels. Got all the squirrels cleaned up. I shot one of them. Yeah, we're gonna make, uh, mommy made some pie dough Daddy? from scratch. So we're gonna make, first we're going to put these in the pressure cooker. We're gonna brown them, put them in the pressure cooker, pull all the meat off of them. Can we still find the bullet in there? No, we got all the, the BBs out. We were using a shotgun because we were duck hunting. So there was Did a couple BBs them? in there. Yeah, we got a couple, but uh, we got all the BBs out for the most part. We might find one in there. But uh, we're going to pressure cook it first after we brown them. Then we're going to pull all the meat off. And then we'll show you how we do our pot pies. All right? You going to help me, dude? Yeah. And they're delicious, by the way. Yep. Boom! Boom! Yeah. Start with some salt and pepper on these. Yum, yum. Mm-hmm. We're gonna give these a really nice brown before we put them in the pressure cooker for about 28 minutes. What? We're gonna use a little bit of olive oil and a big old chunk of butter. Brown these in. Put them in high heat. That cast iron piping hot. Yo. And then we'll uh, sear these before we put them in the little Instapot. Little Pressure Instapot. cooking them is the uh, trick to get them to get them nice and tender because sometimes squirrels can be a little little tough. Pressure cooking falls right off the bone. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna put the squirrel in. Can I do it? You wanna put the squirrel in? Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Put as many as you can in there, and we'll brown them really good. Browning is just when you like cook them at a really high temperature, so you get that nice like brown crust on them. Mm -hmm. You gotta cook them really hot. Take a bite out of one, dude. <laughs> well, you can probably get one more little one on there. Put these out, put them in our pressure cooker, finish up the rest of them, and then we'll pressure cook these for about 28 minutes. So that get nice and tender. Brown the rest of these.
Put that down there. We got all our squirrel meat in the pressure cooker. We're gonna turn that on for 28 minutes. We're gonna put a little bit of Tori's homemade vegetable broth in there. Put it on for 28 minutes, pressure cook, and then let it release. And then we'll start rolling out the pie crust. This is uh, some of Tori's homemade vegetable broth. She makes vegetable broth all the time, and it's pretty awesome. So we'll just enough in there to give it some liquid. And then we'll use the rest of that for when we cook up the veggies with the meat for the filler. That word sucks. So, you gonna use this? Scrape off everything into there. We're gonna put our onions, celery, and garlic into the squirrel drippings with a little bit more butter. Saute all that up really good. Get that little bit of garlic too. Boom. All right. Then you're just gonna. So let me see. You're just gonna kind of do it like this. Stir it around real good. And we're gonna cook that for a little bit. Okay. And we are not using fresh carrots today. We usually do, but I'm being lazy, so I'm just using the frozen, frozen medley. I'm gonna saute all that up until it gets nice and like. Opaque. You know what that means? You know what opaque means? No. It means like when the onions are like clear. <laughs> oh no, I'm already crying. You're already crying? Oh dude, it's alright, buddy. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. It's okay, dude. It was just an onion. <laughs> You're gonna dump dump some in there until I say stop. Okay. okay. I'll kind of hold the top so you don't spill too much in there. Uh, all right, that's good. Now stir that around. Yep, that ain't gonna work. There you go. That's how much? Uh, keep going. You can be generous with the pepper. We like pepper in this house. All 
All right. Don't be doing that, bro. All the way around it. There you go. And that's probably good right there. Right there. Okay. All right. Pressure cooker's done. Let's see if the squirrel came out tender. squirrel and I'm gonna use that broth to mix in to make our uh, filler meat falling right off the bone just gonna get all this meat off here Ooh, it's hot squirrel meat now we're about to put some flour in here because we're gonna make kind of like a roux okay and that's gonna thicken up our sauce once we start making the sauce and then we'll roll out the dough and we'll make the pie in the cast iron and then we'll put it in the oven. Okay? Hi. And that's in the squirrel too. Okay. okay. And then I'll turn the heat up a little bit. Are you looking? You hear that? Yeah, it's alright. What is it? It's the pressure cooker. Alright. Let that cook for a little bit. Will we dump the meat in there? Yeah, we're about to in just a minute. I'm gonna add a little bit more broth. on the flour. And then we can add all the squirrel meat. A little squirrel. Yummy in my tummy. Yum, yum, yum. A lot of people think it's gross to eat squirrel. They don't understand. They just don't know how to make it. Or they just don't have like never it. tried it and don't realize how good it actually is. It's like chicken, ain't it? Yeah. But a little bit, like, Better. chewy? Uh, not really chewy. Not if you cook it like this. Or more this. soft. Yeah, it's a little tender if you cook it like this. It's like butter. It's like butter? Mm -hmm. Nom, nom. Butter. Oh. We're gonna add our cream, heavy cream. And help pick it up with that flour too. And it's gonna get real good. Get it. <laughs> hey, that's the number on your pants. It's alright. So Tori made some homemade dough that have been sitting in the fridge all day. All those that work, she did them. So we're gonna roll these out and uh, we'll show you how we start our pot pie. That's all right, don't worry about it. Worry about the video. Do this. Coming up? Yep. Oh, I forgot you did that last time. Yeah. And then. All right, so we're gonna, this is all of our filler. We're gonna put it in the fridge for like 10 minutes just so it cools down before we put it in the pie crust. Got our pie crust ready, and then we're gonna do the top crust to put on top. And then she'll go in the oven at 400 for about 20 minutes. Turn it down to 375 for about 45 minutes after that. And then she'll be ready to go. Hopefully we got enough. I think we do. 
Oh yeah, it's gonna be like perfect. Put that in the pie crust. Oh. 